Two. Good evening, everyone. What an exciting time. In spite of all the chaos and the crisis mode that our country and the entire world seems to be in, we can still offer a new medium, a new way of doing ministry. And that's what this is. Hopefully, if this works out the way Kathy and I think it will, then we will be able to perhaps in the future offer our services online as far as our church services. I'm excited about that, aren't you? Well, I wanted to share just a few words of encouragement during this time of crisis. You know, we can't help what's going on with, with this uh, COVID-19 virus, but what we can do is stand on the promises of God. How exciting can that be? How exciting is that? To know that no matter what's going on, we have God on our side. And um, the bishop has mandated that churches be closed for at least the following two weeks. And that is not optional. That is something that we have to do. No face-to-face -face meetings whatsoever. But I wanted to take a few moments to encourage you and, and to, to say some prayers, perhaps. And what I want to do now is, is think about those in our congregation that do need prayer, I'd like for us to remember all those that are shut in at Baptist Village. They're not able to see their loved ones at this time. I mean, you know how trying that can be when you feel like you're isolated? And I want to especially say a prayer for Miss Shirley and Miss Diane, and I want us to keep them in our thoughts and our prayers. Um, so if you will, bow your heads at this time while I do say this prayer. Father, we thank you for this new way of doing ministry, Lord, and I'm excited about it, and I think it will be a wonderful opportunity for Waresboro Church as we move forward into the 21st century, even though we've already been in a few years, but we're going to find new ways to reach your people, Lord. But Lord, we do pray about this virus, Lord. It's got us anxious. It's got us worried, but we will stand on your promises, Lord. And Lord, we especially pray for our loved ones in Baptist Village, Lord, that are, are shut in. They're isolated, Lord, and they can't see their relatives and how lonely that may be for some of them, Lord. And Lord, we want to pray for Diane as she goes through the, the troubles that she's going through, Lord, and Miss Shirley as well, Lord. And Lord, we lift them both up to you right now and ask that you touch them and heal them, Lord. Lord, um, just be with them and be with our church, Lord. Help us to come through this stronger. Amen. And I also want to share a scripture with you as we go through this, this time of turmoil in our life. It's found in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk. And not faint. While we may not be able to meet face to face at this time, we are still meeting through our prayers. We are still worshiping God with our families. We are still coming together as a church, looking to find new ways of worshiping God. I pray that the Lord finds you safe, and I promise we will have a sermon up online Sunday. So keep praying for us, and we are praying for you. And all, all the love from our family goes out to each and every one of you. In Jesus' name, amen.